Welcome to the SIMU tutorial series on image manipulation guidance, producing journal quality figures. An overview of digital image characteristics is the first of the continuing series of tutorials that will show how medical images, pictures, line drawings, and other supporting materials can be converted to the proper resolution and size required by professional journals for submission as content accompanying an original article. It is often unclear or confusing when trying to understand what the journal requirements are for figures and then how to achieve them. With this in mind, the main purpose of this guidance is to explain methods for producing publication quality figures in a how-to format. First, the characteristics of an image will be defined in terms of resolution, pixel size, bit depth, and output dimensions. To gain appreciation for the process, before and after image conversion examples are illustrated. The learning objectives are to understand how to produce these high-resolution, high-quality figures by using readily available freeware or low-cost shareware on a personal computer. What does publication quality of figures mean? It boils down to resolution and dimension. Grayscale or color images are required to have a resolution of at least 300 dpi, while line drawings require a resolution of 600 dpi. DPI is an acronym for dots per inch. Another commonly used acronym is PPI for points per inch. These have the same meaning for our purposes. When reproduced in a journal, figures are constructed from closely spaced dots, and the modulated density of the dots results in the recreation of the image on reflective paper. With more dots per inch, finer detail can be rendered. 3 DPI corresponds to three dots spaced equally across one inch, while six DPI represents six dots. Notice that the picture element or pixel area decreases as the resolution specified in DPI increases, so with a smaller sampling area the decal can be increased. For medical images, resolution is typically described with pixel dimension. So, what is the correspondence between resolution in DPI and resolution in pixel dimension? Medical imaging modalities have various detector element dimensions depending upon the need to render fine detail. For mammography images, dimensions as small as 50 microns are used. Radiography, computed tomography, magnetic resonance, and nuclear medicine imaging have increasingly larger pixel dimensions, and therefore correspondingly lower spatial resolution as shown in this slide. The spatial resolution is determined by the optimization of needed spatial fidelity relative to the radiation dose, procedure time, and other limiting factors when acquiring the images. For journal articles, the need to reproduce figures with resolution sufficient for good reproduction quality often requires a significant increase in the inherent resolution of images. To get an idea of the relationship between DPI and pixel dimension, one can use straightforward algebra and conversion constants. There are 2.54 centimeters per inch equal to 25,400 microns per inch. This value, divided by the resolution in DPI, gives a corresponding dimension in microns. For instance, at 300 DPI, the corresponding resolution is 84.7 microns, while at 600 DPI, the corresponding resolution is 42.3 microns. Note the inverse relationship between resolution in DPI and resolution in microns. The question pertinent to this discussion is, how can an image or figure be converted to an output with much higher resolution? There remain a few more details regarding other characteristics of the image itself. First, the bit depth per pixel determines the number of shades of gray, or color, that can be rendered by the display. Most medical images have a bit depth of 12 to 16 bits. An image with 12 bits has 4,096 unique gray levels, providing differentiation of local details according to window width and window level adjustments. Most common image formats have 8 bits, with 256 unique gray levels. Proper grayscale rendition during conversion from 12 to 8 bits by setting window width and window levels prior to converting images from a PAX is crucial, as there is limited capabilities afterwards. For color images, there are typically 24 bits per pixel, with each of the primary color weights represented by 8 bits when producing a specific color per pixel. Another consideration is the output format. On a PAX, the standard format is DICOM, where the image representation is in raw or enhanced form. 
DICOM images are typically not accepted by journals because the image appearance for grayscale rendition can be variable. The tagged image file format, or TIFF for short, is the desired output format with full image resolution and 8 bits per pixel and optimal contrast adjustments. JPEG, which stands for Joint Photographic Expert Group, is a popular format because small, small file sizes with selectable lossless or lossy compression are achieved. However, it is not clear what level of compression is used, and there is a potential for spatial resolution degradation and block artifacts. When the amount of compression for a JPEG image is not adjustable or is not specified, the TIFF output is recommended for journal figures to be sure of the highest image quality. The output or print size is also a consideration. Resolution adjustments alone are not enough to apply to an image, as will be shown in the next several slides. Common output format sizes are specified as column width, such as 3 to 3.5 inches, and page width, such as 6 to 7 inches. De-identification of patient information is a must, unless explicitly required for a journal article and allowed by a patient. Burned in patient information in an image must be erased or permanently blocked out for the published content. Make sure that this is accomplished prior to submitting the figures. Another question is, what kind of image resolution does the monitor provide, and how does that play a role in the resolution of the figures that are created? Resolution of display monitors range from 70 dpi to 100 dpi and higher, which is an indication of the number of pixels per inch across the screen. Display software will often automatically adjust the image appearance by scaling, magnification, and interpolation by the video card making it difficult to assess either the intrinsic resolution or image dimensions directly. Some software programs will provide information on these details, which is very important when manipulating the image in order to achieve a desired output spatial resolution and figure dimension. Often, image resolution will automatically be converted to the display resolution, which is the reason why many images have an indicated resolution of 96 dpi certainly insufficient for required journal quality. This simple example shows an image with a resolution of 1 dpi with 5 samples across 5 inches in both rows and columns and an aspect ratio of 1 to 1. Such information is contained in the header of, of specific image format type. Increasing the resolution is a simple matter of changing the information in the image header. The resolution when sent to 10 dpi does not affect the content, but the image physically shrinks to 1 half inch by 1 half inch in linear dimension, with a 100 times reduction in area when printed. The resultant postage stamp size image is clearly unacceptable for image reproduction, so despite increased resolution, more must be done to expand the image to desired width and height. The next step in the, pro in the example is to scale the high resolution 1 half by 1 half inch image back to a 5 inch by 5 inch dimension. This requires filling in the blank space in the areas of the expanded output image. Simple pixel replication as shown in this illustration is one solution, but does not improve the appearance of the output image, even though the image sampling resolution has been increased by a factor of 10. So what must be done? A key processing step is pixel interpolation during scaling and replication to eliminate pixel boundary effects and blockiness in the image. Scaling to size in a robust way requires pixel interpolation. Interpolation is the process of assigning pixel values that are a result of averaging adjacent pixels or local neighborhoods of pixels. For instance, bilinear interpolation averages adjacent pixels in the rows and columns of the expanded image to create new, intermediate pixel values in the expansion process. Higher order methods such as cubic splines use multiple pixel values displaced further from the filled in value with specific weighting algorithms. There are also other methods, but the end result is to preserve the appearance of enhanced resolution when the image is scaled to size. An example of a very low resolution bone scan image of 72 dpi has been converted to 300 dpi and scaled to a 3 inch width. These images are from the same original image. The image on the left is an example of expansion by pixel replication, while the image on the right is expansion with bilinear interpolation. It is obvious that despite the increased DPI image resolution, pixel replication does not enhance the image appearance, 
whereas interpolation produces a more desirable output. So what is needed to produce journal quality figures? Certainly the figure content, which might be images, line graphs, drawings, color pictures, and so forth. Image manipulation software provides the ability to adjust color, grayscale, and black and white images. In this e-tutorial series, two software packages are demonstrated, including IrfanView freeware for image display and manipulation, and HyperSnap low-cost shareware for screen capture and subsequent image manipulation. There are other software packages that can be used to achieve the same figure resolution enhancement, but the bottom line is to use software that you are comfortable with. Figure resolution and size dimension details are necessary, and once the figure is created, a verification of proper figure dimensions, fidelity, and content using a word processing program is highly recommended as the final step. Requirements for figure resolution and dimensions depend upon the specific journal. For the Journal of Digital Imaging, the resolution requirement for grayscale and color images is a minimum of 300 dots per inch, and line drawings are a minimum of 600 dots per inch. The image dimensions must be adjusted according to the required figure size. For JDI, a column size figure width is scaled to 3 inches, while a page size figure width is scaled to 6 inches. As will be shown in the subsequent example tutorials, it is important to maintain aspect ratio so that the pixels in the output image remain square. The take-home points for this tutorial are to understand that image characteristics, including resolution, bit depth, and dimensions, are key aspects of producing journal quality figures. Manipulating images requires adjustments including increasing the resolution, scaling the width and height, performing image interpolation, and ensuring correct grayscale display to meet journal requirements. Details and specific tutorial examples are included in the SIM eTutorial series on image manipulation guidance, available at the web SIM website. These tutorials are produced by the Society for Imaging Informatics and Medicine, with help, assistance, and direction by Nicole Smith, Caroline Wilson, and Anna Marie Mason. I, Tony Seibert, am responsible for the content, so please direct questions or comments to my email address. J-A-S-E-I-B-E-R-T at ucdavis.edu. Thank you for your attention, and I sincerely hope the content of these tutorials lends to your understanding and ability to manipulate images and other data to produce journal-quality figures. Thank you.